Okay, welcome back. In this episode, we're going to get into installing Stackstorm. Now, I use Docker Desktop. It's a super easy way to get Docker off of the GitHub, clone it down, and get it running using Docker Compose. Super simple. You can do it any way you want. As long as you have access to Docker and Docker Compose, we'll be fine. Okay, so let's get started in this episode. Okay, so you've got your Docker desktop installed. I hope you do. I hope you do because if you don't, the rest of this course is really going to drag. So um, we got Docker desktop installed. The way we can tell is we come up here and we see the little whale up here, right? So we click on him. Uh, it might be in your tray in your in Windows at the bottom. Look around for the little whale. But what you really want to do is get to the dashboard. If you can see the dashboard, saints be praised. You've got Docker Desktop installed and it's ready for action. Don't go any farther until you get the Docker Desktop to come up. So the first thing we're going to want to do is we're going to want to put some Stackstorm containers and have them run inside that Docker Desktop. So where do we get this stuff, right? You can see here I have my home directory, right? And in my home directory, I just created opt. You can call this Stackstorm Magic Packs. I don't care, but opt is easy for me. Now, don't get this confused with slash opt. That's an entirely different place. This is just in your home directory. I made a directory called it opt, and I'm just going to CD to opt because that's where... I keep all my Stackstorm stuff, right? Okay, so we got a ton of stuff going in there. Let's get back into here. Now, we're ready to go, but we need to clone the ST2 Docker repo from GitHub. And if you're in this, you should really have a GitHub account, right? We're going to develop stuff. We want a place to save it, keep it safe, do versioning control of it. So sign up for a GitHub account. It's not hard. So once you get it, you might want to learn GitHub without any code. Click right here if you want. It'll show you around. But I am going to come in here. I am going to search for Stack Storm. And when I find it, I'm going to find this ST2 Docker pack right there. So that little repo, it's what we're going to need, including this Docker Compose file that's going to basically walk through and build every single container we need to get Stackstorm running. It's a very impressive thing, but this looks very, very complicated. We're not going to even mess with it. We're just going to go ahead and we're going to clone this repo. Did we have to write this? No, we didn't. Yay. We're just going to borrow it. So we cl click on the code button and I copy it to my clipboard. And then that's all we needed that browser. We're going to come over here and do a git clone. And then we're going to simply put in that entry from our clipboard. And when we hit that, it's going to go ahead and clone it into a directory called st2.docker. I've already done this. I'm not going to redo it. Go ahead and hit enter. It'll be quick, painless, and you will have a directory called st2.docker that you can change directly to st2-docker just like me. And when you do, you'll see there's some files in there. There's that Docker Compose file we were looking at. That's going to build everything for us. But before we get there, I'm going to change the directory into files. And I am going to vi the ht, um, I think it's ht, what is it? Password, password, password. Um, let's go ahead and list those files just so we're not depending on my old brain. Um, we're going to vi the ht password file. And then we're going to just change this line here. We're Stackstorm uh, SD2 admin. We're going to put your password in there. You can use my password. Uh, I don't care. It's just my lab password. Not needed for anything in the outside world. And then you're going to go ahead and save those changes with whatever editor you're using. I'm just going to quit, right? Because mine's already done. We're going to change directory back to where that where that docker compose file is and we're going to say docker dash compose we haven't done anything difficult here right we just cloned a repo and changed the pa uh, password in the file 
So Docker Compose up dash D to run it in the background, and that's it. The first thing that's going to happen is Docker is going to look for an image out in the local repository. So it's going to look in your hard drive and say, hey, does he have any of these uh, ST2 images in the, in the local repository? No. It's going to go out to Docker Hub, get all these for you, bring them all down, run them in containers for you. You're done. You now possess Stackstorm server. You're ready for action. Okay? That's all there is to it. And the way you can tell is we're going to go back here and we're going to look for the dashboard again. And in our dashboard, we're going to see there's this ST2 Docker uh, system running here. So we open this up and we see in this particular installation all of the Docker containers that are running that make up Stackstorm. So this is what we would do in Kubernetes to make this extremely enterprise grade and highly available if that's what you needed. Again, we're running in Docker Desktop so we can just develop some packs. But we want to deploy Stackstorm. If it's an enterprise installation, we're going to want to use like um, the Kubernetes Helm chart and just spin it up in a, in a Kubernetes cluster. Moving along here, we've got a bunch of them here. You can see there's a couple of them that didn't come up. Uh, chat ops just needs a configuration. And then this only runs once. So this is running what it is. I'm on a Macintosh, um, an Apple MacBook Pro rather. Uh, old Macintosh, yeah. I want a MacBook Pro M1, right? So I'm running the ARM, not the ARM chip, the AMD chip. And so you'll probably see these if you are doing the same thing. All is good, all is well. Okay, so those are the st those are the containers for um, Stackstorm. It's up and running. Next up in the next chapter, we're going to go ahead and log in and take a look around. So stay tuned, and we'll see you in the next chapter.